Flash Forge Adventure 4 has a Bowden extruder, which is known to be terrible for printing flexible filaments. So this just came into the mail for me, and guess what it is? It's TPU, and we're gonna be trying that on the Flash Forge Adventure 4 today. So I ordered some TPU from Overture, and it actually came with a build tack bed, which is kinda nice. So if mine fails, I'm gonna swap it out. But here is the filament, and it's enclosed in an aluminum bag. So looking at the filament roll right off the bat, you can see that how it's winded up in the reel. It's not very even how you would expect it on other filaments. But perhaps the fact that it's flexible, that's why they couldn't get such a nice tight wound. Now taking the filament out of the roll, just try to pull on it right now. It's a little bit flexible, but not as flexible as something like Ninja Flex. Let's just try to break it right now. Yeah, it's pretty flexible. So let me try throwing this onto my printer and we're gonna print a case for my iPhone 12 mini. I'll be throwing my settings in the description down below for those of you guys who are interested in printing TPU. Honestly, I haven't tried them out yet, so we'll kind of figure out at the end of this video if they work or not. Check it out, my Bowden extruder is printing TPU right now. The first case that I printed, the extruder got clogged and I think I know why. It's the fact that I had my fan setting on so the fan blowing on the nozzle cooled down the TPU inside of it and it got clogged. However, the second time, this is how my case turned out. You can see that there's a lot of stringiness right here and I just gotta do some cleaning up. So let me clean it up and we'll see how it looks. After cleaning up the case, you can see the fit is quite well and the texture pattern on the back looks quite nice. If I zoom into it, maybe you can actually tell what the texture looks like. And this is the side that was sitting on the print bed. If we go to the front side, the thing that I don't really like about TPU is the fact that it's so flexible on the side and it feels like the phone could drop out at any point. If we look at the sides, you can see some stringiness happening at the very edge when the extruder decided to jump from this side over to that side. Also, the bridging is not the best for TPU. So if you guys are planning to print anything with overhangs, just be aware that you're gonna get some sort of stringing effect and it's not gonna be super effective. On the side here, you can see that there's some boogie sticking out and you can't really clean them off with a knife. Otherwise, it'll look like it was sliced off, but these boogies also look bad too, so. Maybe I'll attempt using a knife later on to clean it up, but in the meantime, I pretty much cleaned off all the stringiness and it looks pretty decent for a print. Taking the case off, you can see the TPU flexes a lot. I can scrunch it up, nothing really breaks, and it opens right back up, and there's a good amount of squishiness to it. I'm just pulling on it, you can see how it stretches. And the layers aren't delaminating, which is very nice. I can even pull on the sides here and you can see nothing's really happening to it. All in all, I'm pretty impressed by the Flash Forge Adventure 4 and its ability to print TPU, even though Flash Forge doesn't support that. I'll link all the different settings that I used to make this guy down in the description. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be returning this TPU to Amazon. I bought it on Amazon initially because I figured if it didn't work out, then I could claim quality issues and return it. If you guys have any other suggestions for what you want me to do with TPU, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make a hybrid print with PLA and TPU one day. That would be kind of interesting, but haven't really thought of what I can make that's useful. I think TPU would be good for some sort of hinge action. So perhaps I'll think of something that uses a hinge and print that layer in TPU. As usual, remember to subscribe, like the video, and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. I will be bringing you more 3D printing content on the Flash Forge Adventure 4. And once the winter's over, I'll probably do more house projects on this channel as well. And that's a wrap. 